Hey Colts, in this video we're going to look at how to use some of the writing tools available to us. In order to access them, we must first make sure that our Chrome browser is logged into our school account. I can see here that not only is my school drive logged in, but also my browser itself is logged into the school account. If you're uncertain on how to do this, please see the Colts Academy video on signing in and syncing your Chrome browser to your GAPS account. Once you're logged in, you'll be able to access the Wired DSB Google Read and Write extension. This is available to all Wired DSB students. To turn on the extension, I'm going to click on the purple puzzle piece with the RW symbol. This will open up the Google Read and Write extension bar. Google Read and Write is fully compatible with all Wired DSB GAPS applications. This includes Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Forms, and Google Classroom. It can also be used outside of the Google Suite. You can use these tools in different websites as well. For some of the writing tools that we're going to use, the first thing one that we're going to look at is the prediction tool. Towards the left-hand side of the bar, we have the prediction button. Once I click and activate the prediction button, as I type, Google will try and predict the words that I'm trying to write. This is similar to the prediction tools that you might have on your phone as you're trying to write a text message. So if I'm going to go ahead and write, welcome to another wonderful, and I'm not sure now where to go with my word, I can see some of the predicted words Wonder. here. By scrolling over, you can hear that it will read aloud the word to me. Wondered. Wonderful. Wonderful. This is the word that I was looking for. By clicking on it, it will insert the word. Then I can continue on with my writing. Claude as Act Academies. Academy. Predictive tool can be used and can be helpful if you're having difficulty spelling words. Another handy tool that we have available to us is the speech to text. I'm going to, for the moment, turn off predictive text. And I'm going to click on the headset icon here. Once I activate the talk and type, Google will start to take all of the speech that I'm saying and convert it into text. Just like when you're using your phone, this isn't always 100% accurate, but it is a good way to get your ideas out and onto the page in a quick and efficient manner. You can then go back and work on editing. When I click on the talk and type icon, first Google will ask me if I want to allow my microphone, which I do. And now as I'm speaking, everything that I say will be recorded. By clicking on the microphone icon, I can stop the recording and the speech to text process. This way, if I want to take a break and have a conversation or brainstorm ideas with an another partner or a peer, it won't record everything. If I want to begin recording again, I can simply click the microphone icon. Now Google is continuing to record everything that I'm saying. This is a good way for me to get my ideas on the page quickly. Afterwards, I can go back and edit, including things such as punctuation, grammar, as well as ensuring that all of the words that I said were the correctly recorded. Now I can go back and I can begin editing this text, but I have also created a whole bunch of text in a very short period of time. That's all for this video. Thank you, Colts, and remember, no Colt walks alone.